Jesus gave us a few parables that give us a perfect picture of repentance. And so as Jesus gave us those parables, first of all, we see Zacchaeus. And so there Zacchaeus was. He was a tax gatherer, one of the most uh, despised people in all of Israel. And so considered to be a traitor uh, of his country, became wealthy off of the backs of his brethren, off of the backs uh, of his own kinsmen by being a traitor and working uh, for the Romans by taking their... Uh, taxes and not just taking their taxes but taking extra for himself and making himself wealthy off of that and so uh, Jesus then confronted Zacchaeus decided to go to Zacchaeus's house to eat and so Zacchaeus got all excited about that said I'm going to return all of the money uh, that I have taken and I'm going to I'm going to return every bit of it and so Jesus said surely salvation has come to this house now if Zacchaeus did that which no doubt he did he would have been flat broke at the end of it. But he took that sin that he committed, he repented of it, and he said, you know, I'm, I'm going to uh, make this right. And so Jesus said salvation has come uh, to his house. But we also see a wonderful picture of repentance through the prodigal son. And so when we look in Luke chapter 15 and we see that wonderful picture of repentance through the pro prodigal son, uh, we see that the prodigal son, he took his inheritance, and, and you know, but long before he was supposed to, he went out into the world. He squandered it. He, he, he just you know threw it all away, wasted all of it. And he ended up as low as a low, uh, but, but as an Israelite could be when he was there in uh, the, the hog slop, eating the hog slop along with the hogs. And so he comes to the realization, you know what? I have no business being here. And that's really what repentance is. When you come to that realization, I don't have any business being here whatsoever. We see some very clear indications of his heart, his true heart of repentance. The Bible tells us there in Luke chapter 15 and verse 18, he said, I'll get up and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven in your sight. And so he was going to go to his father and confess the the fact that he had sinned. So why was he going to confess the fact that he has sinned? Because he had come to his senses. In fact, the Bible says in Luke chapter 15 and verse 17, the verse right before the one I just read, it said, but when he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired men have more than enough bread and I am dying here with hunger. Friend, sin ruins us. Sin Sin destroys us. Sin destroys everything around us. And so what we need to do is come to our senses and say, you know, I don't want this mess within my life anymore. So what did he do? He came to his senses. He returned to his father. And the Bible says there in verse 21 of Luke chapter 15, it says, and the son said to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. So he humbled himself greatly before his father, said, I blew it. I messed up. I've turned away from this. I have come to my senses. I have confessed my sins. And now I stand before you asking for forgiveness. And we know the rest of the story. He was forgiven. He was totally restored. And so what a marvelous thing that that was. That is the perfect picture of repentance right there. And so what we need to do, if you're living in your sins, what do you need to do? You need to come to your senses. Realize that sin, that worldly way of living uh, that you're participating in, it is destroying you. It is ruining you and everything around you. You need to repent of that. You need to come to the Father. You need to ask Him to forgive you. You need to humble yourself before him. Say, I'm, I'm not even worthy to be your servant. But you know what? He'll forgive you and take you in as a son. And praise God for that, or a daughter. And praise God for that because God is full of grace and God is full of mercy. Believe on Jesus, friends. He's already paid the price for you on the cross of Calvary. So turn to him. Trust in him, believe on him, 
He will save you when you come to your senses and you turn to him.